life she had wanted to teach at Wellesley College. So when a position opened in the art history department, she pursued it single-mindedly until she was hired. It was whispered that Catherine Watson, a first-year teacher from Oakland State, made up in brains what she lacked in pedigree. Which was why this bohemian from California was on her way to the most conservative college in the nation. Excuse me, please. Oh, sorry. Excuse me, the bus? Keep walking, ma'am. Thank you. But Catherine Watson didn't come to Wellesley to fit in. She came to Wellesley because she wanted to make a difference. My favorite Italian professor. Nice summer. Terrific, thanks. Who's that over there? Where? Oh, Catherine Watson, new teacher, art history. Dying to meet her. knocks at the door of learning. I am every woman. What do you seek? To awaken my spirit through hard work and dedicate my life to knowledge. Then you are welcome. All women who seek to follow you can enter here. I now declare the academic year begun. Yesterday, it's so quiet before the girls arrive. Just a few rules. No holes in the walls. No pets. No loud noises. No radio or hi-fi after eight on weekdays, ten on weekends. Uh, no hot plates and no male visitors. Anything wrong? I don't think I can go a year without a hot plate. Don't you just love chintz? And look. They match. <laughs> Sweet, right? Your room's here. My room is just across the way, and Amanda Armstrong's down the other end. You grew up here? My whole life. You'll meet my parents when they come to visit. They visit regularly. What do you teach? Speech, elocution, and poise. <laughs> Dinners are communal, so I'll handle that. But breakfast and lunch are on your own. So we each get our own shelf. I'll make your label this evening. I don't need to tell you that everything on our individual shelves is sacrosanct. I just knew when we met, we'd be instant friends.
Be careful. They can smell fear. This is History of Art 100. We'll be following Dr. Staunton's syllabus. Any questions so far? Your name. Why don't you go first? Connie Baker. Catherine Watson, nice to meet you. Dr. Watson, I presume. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. And you are? Giselle Levy. Giselle. If someone could get the... Susan Delacourt. Thank you, Susan Delacourt. From the beginning, man has always had the impulse to create art. Can anyone tell me what this is? Wounded bison, Altamira, Spain, about 15,000 BC. Joan Brandwin. Very good, Joan. Despite the age of these paintings, they are technically very sophisticated. Because, because of the shading and the thickness of the lines as it moves over the hump of the bison. Is that right? Yes, that's exactly right. Next slide. This one you are probably less familiar with. It was discovered by archaeologists in 1879. Lascaux, France, dates back to 10,000 BC, singled out because of the flowing lines depicting the movement of the animal. <laughs> Impressive name. Herd of horses. I meant yours. We call her Flicka. <laughs> Elizabeth Warren. They call me Betty. Very good. Betty is also correct. Just because something is ancient doesn't mean that it is primitive. For example, next slide, please. Mm, my Serenus and his queen, 2470 BC. It's a funerary statue of the pharaoh and his queen, originally intended to preserve the pharaoh's ka soul. Have any of you taken art history before? Let's go on slide. Seated scribe, Egypt, 2400 BC. Peasant couple plowing, 16th century BC, Egypt. Snake goddess, Minoan, 1600 BC. Corridor fresco, Minoan, 1600 BC. Funeral last, my stay in 1200. Someone please get... Thank you. By a show of hands only, how many of you have read the entire text? And the suggested supplements. Long way from Oakland State. Well, you girls do prepare. Uh, if you've nothing else for us, we could go to independent study. Act 